Okay. Uh, you good? Dude, I'm recording. Oh. Bro. <laughs> okay, that was my brother Drew, the most annoying person in the world. Yeah. I don't think he knows the meaning of a closed door. I think I think he just kind of sees a closed door as something that can be opened. See, when I I'm in my parents' room right now and Usually when I close the door to my parents' room, or to any room that I'm in, it means that I don't want to be disturbed. And you can still hear him. <laughs> it means that I don't want to be disturbed, but I don't think he really realizes that. So, anyways. I, um... Well, in case you haven't noticed, I have like ten... Ten... 12 more chapters of this world yet up, which, you know, blah. Um, a little update on the contest. Um, well, I kind of used one of the scenes that was going to be the prize as chapter 12. So, instead, you'll get, like, pretty much every spoiler there is. And... And you'll get like your prize will be a um a list of my notes for the entire uh rest of the series by the way we're about halfway done there's uh 24 chapters we're we are halfway done um there's 24 chapters 20 or 24 four yeah I can't count. Um, <laughs> so, there's about 24 chapters, etc. Blah. And there are 12 chapters up. I mean, well, 24 chapters, not counting the epilogue. Um, so, yeah. So, you'll get my uh, notes on all 24 chapters. Um, so, yeah. Um, one more thing. Look at this Coke can. Is this not awesome? It's like, it's like, I don't know what happened. It just kind of, it looks like a, like a mortar shell or something. It looks so awesome. It's not like a regular can. It's like popped out here. You see? It's so cool. <laughs> you see that? It's so cool. I just kind of took it. Out. And I don't know why or how. It was probably pressurized or something on the inside. Um, but it wasn't frozen or anything, so I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Well, I'm currently in kind of a bad mood. Because um, one of my friends was being kind of mean earlier today. Like. I don't know, but, like, she just kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of, she'd recently, uh, been, I don't know, but I was, I wasn't really getting along with one, one of my other friends, well, she wasn't really mean, she just kind of acted like a mom, like, a strict mom, so she, um, I was kind of being rude to one of my other friends, or her friends, who, you know, he, he's the kind of person who, like, he's in my circle of friends, but he, we're not directly connected. Um, he's not my friend. He's, I just hang out with him because he is my friend's friend. And so, f the first friend, okay, I'm just going to name them. Joe's the guy that I didn't get along with. Josie is the one, Josie, Josephine, blah, blah, blah was the one that um that kind of lectured me about it. So she told me that Joe and I have to get along cuz I'm upsetting him or something. And I'm think and like on the outside I'm just like okay, okay, I'll try to be better. But on the inside I'm like okay, mom, you don't have any right to to tell it to me. I uh I can do whatever I want. And how do you know that I'm not being upset by this too? And I I was just 
I was kind of surprised. Josie didn't really, like, she didn't really seem to think about much about my feelings, just about Joe's. See, what happened was, um, one of my other friends, one of my other friends, Colin, he, um, I, he just said something. I don't even know what, but, oh, yeah, he, um, we were doing, in English, we're doing this, um, this persuasive essay unit, and, um, his was on, was on, um, creationism versus evolution, and he was, his was supporting evolution, and so I told him that I wanted to read it, and he said no, so I threw my CMT packet at him, um, and it didn't exactly reach, <laughs> but, uh, Joe picked it up, and he threatened to rip it, so I whacked him over the head lighter than, than I could have. See, I could have, like, pushed him off his chair or something and threatened to, like, kill him if he didn't give it back. But no, I just whacked him over the head and took it back. And then, after class, this was in math, um, Josie, after, after math, we have lunch, and, um, Josie and my lockers are, like, right across from the math room. And so, um... And so he, uh, she, she took me aside and she's just like telling me like, okay, why did you do that? You, you've been upsetting Joe. And so, you know, like I said before, I'm thinking, uh, he's the one upset. I don't care. Uh, nice to know that you care about my feelings too, Josie. And she really, lately she's been kind of treating me like I'm her kid. Like, I'm a little child that she needs to keep in check, and it's really annoying me. I love Josie. I really do. She's she's really cool and mature, too. She's probably one of the most mature people I've ever met that's my age. Um, considering that not a lot of mature people want to hang around me, because I'm not that mature, um... She she's a really good friend and she's really nice and really mature and, and I mean she's not the most mature person ever. I don't think any middle schooler is. But I don't know. She's just lately she's just kind of been treating me like a kid and I hate it. So that's enough ranting for one day. Okay. Bye. Blah.